Oh, all right. I'm not gonna. Sp- I'm, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be like you know, this NFL draft was anything crazy or anything, but it ended up being crazy. Um, we got we got to go over the first round, you know, and everything first. And there was a big trade that happened during the draft, you know. And I mean, the first pick of the draft was Travon Walker from Georgia, which is very very surprising to me. Um. You know, uh, he did really do too much at Georgia. Like, I don't think you didn't hear me talking about him all season long at Georgia. You didn't hear me talking about him, but apparently the Jags were like, yeah, this is a good pickup. And, um, you know, Aiden Hutchinson stayed home in Detroit. That's another big one. Again, a lot of, again, this draft, the story of this draft was different than past years, you know. It's not about these high value quarterbacks. Again, there's not a lot there weren't a lot of good quarterbacks in this draft. And I and I've said this, you know, I've said this to people all around. There weren't very good quarterbacks. There's not enough quarterbacks I think that can go around, you know, this draft because again, there's just too many quarterbacks already out there and there's just really no point, you know, in trying to draft one. But the Lions, they got Aiden Hutchinson. Uh the big one a big one for me, you know, was Sauce Gardner going, you know, to the Jets. That That's a big one. That's a big steal right there. At least we're talking first round. Um, Drake London off to Atlanta. Remember, you know, a certain somebody got himself suspended for a year, you know. So that that's a big pickup right there. Um, and then the Jets again, you know, they got Garrett Wilson as well. And all, all, the, all, all those Ohio State guys, I mean, really, you know, Olave went to the Saints. I mean, Javis Williams went to Detroit. Insanity right there. Um, Kyle Hamilton, you know, he went to the Baltimore. So, I mean, you know, that's going to be another, another one of those tight ends for Baltimore, you know, right there. Um, Jahan Dotson. Went to Washington, which is insanity to me because you know, you know, you know who I'm pulling for in, in this draft. Uh, Traylon Burks, you know, a damn good wide receiver. He went to Tennessee. That that's a big pickup right there. Uh, again, the, the first quarterback that got picked was Kenny Pickett. He went to Pittsburgh. Now Pittsburgh, you know, is in need of a quarterback. You know. Pittsburgh is in need of a quarterback. They got themselves a quarterback, you know, because again, the whole quarterback position is in, you know, kind of a disarray right now. You know, Dwayne Haskins unfortunately passed away. You know, you don't know if you don't know about Mason Rudolph or Mitchell Trubisky or whoever else is on Pittsburgh's roster right now at quarterback. So, Kitty Pickett, um, again, not the best pickup. You know, because Kenny Pickett, he he did he did he did a lot of good things last year. He, he even made a rule change, but a lot of people were higher on other quarterbacks, which again I, I don't really see the point in. You know, we'll talk about those guys. We'll talk about those guys, but you know, um, Kenny Pickett's a, a safe pickup. He's a safe pickup. I, I don't know if he's gonna wow anybody. I think he's serviceable, a serviceable quarterback. You know, at the end of the day, I think he can do things. You know that can that can make the game change. You know, like obviously he changed the game. You know, with that fake slide. Um, but other than that, you know, like yeah. And then you know the Bravens, they really stole the, this draft. They really drafted very very nicely. You know, they were the ones that got Tyler Lindenbaum. You know, you know who was trying to get Tyler Lindenbaum? The Cowboys. They didn't get him. It's that they got Tyler Smith from Tulsa. Um, speaking of, you know, uh, teams with a certain T, and this is a little bit of bias coming in. Nobody from Texas got drafted. Nobody from West Virginia got drafted either. Um, you know, Devin Lloyd went to, to the Jags. That's a big one right there. Um, there weren't any others. You know, oh yeah, Cole Strange from Chattanooga. A lot of people were kind of dismissive of that pick. And even I'm kind of dismissive of that pick, but Again, New England, it's New England. They do what they want. You know, he's a guard from Chattanooga. Um, uh, I mean, what can I say? I mean, Chattanooga hasn't been very good in the FCS in quite a while, so I don't know. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but whatever. It, it is what it is. And, you know, going, 
you know, going to the second round here again, there were some there was some guys, you know, that were awaiting, you know, getting picked, like Malik Willis and Nicobe Dean. Those were two guys to wait to get picked and yet for some reason these guys kept falling. And there's a reason why those guys kept falling. There is a huge reason why. And you know, give me a moment here. Okay, so you get to the second round. You get into the second round, and you see the Packers, they pick up Christian Watson. That's actually a kind of a neat steal right there. Christian Watson was one of the best wide receivers at, at the SCS level. I mean, you cannot deny that. His impact was felt on the field, you know. But, I mean, North Dakota State didn't need him, you know, that much in the FCS playoffs. And we know this because, like, three to four thousand of you continue to flock on over to those FCS videos. But that's neither here nor there. So the Packers got themselves a wide receiver. I think that's a that's a good steal right there. Brees Hall, you know, went to the Jets. That's a that's an interesting one right there again. You know, the Jets, the Jags, you know, are really, you know, you know, getting getting some things right. Um, another notable one was Kenneth Walker to Seattle. A lot of people were not high on Seattle, you know, using draft picks on running backs because Seattle needs quarterback. Um, I don't think a man by the name of Drew Locke is going to get it done. I don't think he's going to get it done for you. Uh, so, you know, drafting another running back when you already have a couple of backs in the stable for Seattle. But again, th those two guys, you know, you know, at least Rashad Penny, at least. And, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean come on. The C Seattle, you, you, you need to draft the quarterback. Um, Seattle definitely needed to draft the quarterback. Um, John Mechie went to, to the Texans, which is crazy. And again, the Ravens, they continue to make steals. You know, David Ojabo, he's a Raven. You know, that, that is a huge deal. You already, the Ravens already had Lindenbaum in the first round. They got Ojabo in the second, and that was a huge deal for them. You know, um, Taquan Thornton is another, you know, bizarre addition because, again, you know, he really didn't do too much in Ben Baylor, you know, to warrant him getting drafted. You know, there's there's some guys that are notably missing from getting drafted altogether, but I mean to come on Thornton, you know, a name that really doesn't ring a bell to you, you know, when it comes to, you know, really good wide receivers, but apparently, you know, the Patriots, they were like, yeah, this is a good pick right here. Um, George Pickens, he went to Pittsburgh. Alec Pierce went to Indianapolis. Again, that that's a weird one right there. Um, Sam Williams, he, a lot of a lot of guys, you know, you know, a lot of people were like, yeah, Sam Williams kind of has a reputation of doing some things that aren't very good, but apparently, he's good enough on the field for the Cowboys to pick him. Um, and, he, and he does have some really good stats, I will say that. But again, you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of weird. And then the Falcons, they picked up Troy Anderson. Oh boy, that met, that dude right there is a monster. Again, Falcons made a good pick right there. Um, I did not watch the draft, by the way. I'll just say that right now. Um, we were I've been waiting all weekend for this. Um, James Cook went to Buffalo, which is a interesting you know take right there. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much that's pretty much all you know from guys in the second round that I can think of. Uh, yeah, the, the, some some of these picks don't really you know you know scream you know draft need. Some of some again you know like the Cowboys you know you as a Cowboys fan I think I know what the Cowboys need and it's the usual needs. Um, but some of these picks so far been very bizarre, been crazy, and um, you know. Let's let's see what let's check round three. Okay, round three, round three. Um, big notable picks in round three. Again, the Kobe Dean, Malik Willis, those guys were falling. You know, the Kobe Dean's reasons were injuries. Malik Willis, I think it's because he actually isn't really all that. Again, I don't really see the quarterback class. You know being as high as it was you know Jelani Woods that's a big get right there for Indianapolis again the Falcons also needed a quarterback so they got Desmond Ritter which again 
not he's 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 not a, he's not that great of a quarterback. I'll tell you that much. He is a little bit hesitant to make the he's a little bit hesitant to make the plays needed, but I'm sure with a little bit of fine tuning, Ritter will be fine out there, you know, in the future. Um you know, there uh Nicobe Dean finally went to the Eagles, you know, again, which is insanity to me. Malik Willis went to Tennessee, which is, you know, something that they need because Ryan Tannehill's contract is a it, it's insanity. And speaking of the Eagles, you know, you got AJ Brown. AJ Brown. Poor AJ Brown. Mans is now, you know. Mans is now an Eagle. You know. He's an eagle. Why is he an eagle, man? Come on now. Man. But all right. It's crazy, but I mean, is it, is it deserved? We'll find out. We'll find out. I mean, I think AJ Brown's a pretty good player, but I mean, is it really worth $25 million a year for four years? I don't know. Uh, da, 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 going back down here a little bit here in this draft. Tyrion Davis Price, he went to San Francisco. Um, Carolina. Carolina's also in need of a quarterback. They got Matt Corral. Again, very similar to Malik Willis. Um, you know, in many ways. In fact, Corral outperformed Willis in the game that they played in November. You know, Ole Miss Liberty did, and I mean Willis again. He, he had a bad game during that that, that Ole Miss game. He had, he had a real bad game against much better competition than what he was facing. You know, you know during his time at Liberty, you know, he, Willis really wasn't battle tested all that much, and even when he was, you know, it was just like uh, this ain't it, and that's exactly what happened. You know in that game between Corral and Willis. It just wasn't up to the hype. I thought, you know, I thought this game was going to be really, really intriguing, but it ended up being a stinker uh, back then, you know, just a few months ago. And there's not really much else here from the third round that really, you know... Oh, yeah, David Bell. And Washington got Brian Robinson. But David Bell went to the... To the to the Browns. He went to the Browns. What do you mean he went to the Browns? Come on, man. Browns are getting stuff. They're getting talent. They are getting talent. I'll tell you that much. All right, let's move on on to the fourth round here. All right, fourth round. Let's see. Seattle. That's a nice pickup. They got Kobe Bryant, one of the other guys from Cincinnati that was you know a big part in Cincinnati's success last year that's a big get right there um, let's see uh, I forgot how far he fell but Samir White that that's also a nice pickup right there um, he went to the Raiders and then the Chargers picked up Isaiah Spiller which is a big one right there Pierre Strong from South Dakota State. Now, that is actually a really nice pickup by the Patriots there. Really nice pickup. Watching him play these last couple years has been a treat to see. Hassan Haskins went to Tennessee as well. That is an interesting take right there. The first punter took in was Jake Carmada from Georgia by Tampa Bay of all teams, which is insanity to me. Uh, and then Bailey Zapp, oh dear lord, the man who broke Joe Burrow's passing records and touchdown records in college, you know, in his last season at Western Kentucky. The Patriots got him, and he's going to be sitting under Matt Jones. I mean, that that could be interesting. That could be really, really interesting to see right there, you know, because Bailey Zapp might have some nice materials right there. Isaiah Likely, again, another big pickup. Dude was catching all sorts of passes from Grayson McCall at Coastal Carolina. That is a big get right there. Again, the Ravens continue to steal this draft, and the Kobe Durant, he was a he was a big contributor 
Um, again, that was a guy I highlighted during the Celebration Bowl preview. Big get for the Rams right there out of South Dakota or out of South Carolina State, excuse me, not South Dakota State. We already talked about the guy from South Dakota State. Uh, so not much in this fourth round here that really caught my eye. There, there's some, there's some good picks in here. I'll tell you that. Cade York from LSU. He went. That, I think that's the first kicker taken. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, the fourth round. It, it, this is where the money is made. So a lot of these guys in this fourth through seventh rounds, that that's where you're gonna get your money from. You're gonna get your money from these guys in the future. I guarantee you that. Uh, so let's go on to the fifth round. All right. So the fifth round, I forgot about this. Sam Howell's a guy who completely. He, he, he started off, you know, as the dark, you know, not even as the dark horse, one of the favorites to win the Heisman, and then he completely fell off as the season progressed. Felt like he had to carry North Carolina on his back. There were some times he made some mistakes. Again, I, I was not as high on Sam Howell at the beginning of last season as I was at the end of the season, but Washington got him. That's an interesting get right there. You know, he's going to be doing a lot of stuff, learning under Carson Wentz. <laughs> Um, Khalil Shakir, that that that's another big pickup right there by the Bills. Another huge one right there for them. Uh, Tyler Algier to the Falcons, that man's a workhorse. We know this. Uh, again, we don't know how things translate from college to the pros. You know, each and every year for some of these guys, some of these guys could be looking legit in their first year. Some guys could be looking kind of okay, and some could be looking bad. But I think Algier has a nice career ahead of him, and the Falcons, you know, Falcons got a Falcons got an interesting one right there. Um, let's see, moving on down, Jerome Ford, another Cincinnati native, went on down, came on over to Cleveland. You know, Cleveland, they got him. Um, uh, let's see, Kyron Williams, another interesting get, you know, f for the LA Rams, that's a big get right there, you know, he was definitely a guy that could do, you know, multiple things, he can run, he can catch, you know, he's definitely a different kind of back, you know, when it comes to, you know, running backs out of the backfield, um, Ty Chandler went to Minnesota, that's a, that's an interesting get right there, um, let's see. Yeah, there's nobody else in this fifth round that really, you know, caught my eye here. Yeah, there's there's really nobody. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of some of these other guys, you know, again. You know, wow, NFL, NFL.com said Southern Utah State. I'm not sure if that's actually Southern Utah State for Mr. Braxton Jones. I'm pretty sure it's just Southern Utah, but whatever. That's a mistake right there, NFL.com. Get it together. Bring out those tables as, you know, round six gets in. Bring out those tables. Matt Arazia from San Diego State, the punt god. The Bills got him. I'm so upset that the Bills actually got him. Yeah. Not a lot of teams need punters, but, I mean, the Bills, they got themselves a damn good one right there. It's, again, punters, you know, punters almost instantly translate well to the NFL. So I think Matt Arasia is going to have a nice long career. Definitely, definitely going to be serving a bunch of teams for a long time. But he'll be on the Bills first. So he'll be out in the cold, cold, you know, stretches of New York first. Um, the rest of the sixth round, however, um, there, there's, there's not a lot here. Not a lot here at all from the sixth round. Uh, there's a Northwestern Missouri State guy that that New England got again. New England, New England's drafting is always weird, but yet they 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 know what they, they New England knows what they're doing. Bill Belichick knows what he's doing. The hoodie knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to getting guys out of the draft. And then James Houston, you know, from Coach Prime. Yeah, Dion, Dion, you know Jackson State. Yeah, the Lions got him. That that's a that's an interesting pickup right there. There's really nothing else from the sixth round that can. That's really oh yeah, Jalen Naylor from Michigan State. Minnesota got him. Mm, interesting. All right, let's move on to the final round.
Okay, here's something a little weird. As we as we talk about round seven, um, Chris Oladukin. Yeah, the Steelers got him for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. I mean, he wasn't even the he wasn't even the best quarterback at, from the FCS last year. But okay. Um. Skyler Thompson got drafted by a Miami. I mean, okay. That's cool, I guess, you know. Um, and then Mr. Irrelevant is Brock Purdy, a guy who's regret a guy who just completely regressed. San Francisco, I don't know what y'all were thinking but picking this man because y'all already selected a quarterback at one point. So I'm not sure, you know, what in the world the purpose of picking Purdy here was. And again, this quarterback class was just weak. Weak sauce. Again, the focus here for a lot of these teams should have been corners, offensive linemen, tight ends, that, you know, linebackers, you know, that's what the Cowboys focused on, wide receivers. If you were a wide receiver or a defensive guy, you, 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 you better buy stock. You better buy stock when it comes to the NFL draft because you you were going to get selected and again a lot of talented wide receivers got selected a lot of talented you know um, guys you know got selected and I forgot who Kobe Dean got selected by I think we skipped past it um, I think we did I'm not sure uh, but in any case the draft this year wasn't as interesting as you know some of the drafts in the past because you know or rather the oh yeah he went to the went to the Eagles right right I forgot about that I think I said that earlier but uh, whatever the Eagles the Eagles are the Eagles so we'll see how everything shakes up but honestly the team that won the draft Again, it, it, it's the Ravens. They won the draft. I think the weirdest draft goes to the Patriots as usual. And the worst draft? That's kind of hard because, like, the Seahawks made some bad picks. The Steelers made some bad picks, I think, as well. Um, you know, like, teams like the Jets, the Jags have the most interesting drafts out there. But yeah, I would say any, I would say you know this draft was anything mind blowing or anything like that. Again, it's the NFL draft at seven rounds as it has been for years and years now. So I mean, there's just really no point in you know going fully in depth about it. Uh, and I think 20 or so minutes is enough. You know, damn near 30 at this point. You know, is enough to really break it all down because again. There's just so much that goes into it. And again, there's still so many free agents left out there. Um, why don't we take a look at those free agents real quick? Let me, let me backtrack and be, come back at you in a few seconds with those free agents. Okay. There are a few free agents left out there that need some money. The Honey Badger. Oh, he needs a place to go. Jadavion Clowney. Despite the fact that he's kind of wishy-washy at times to me personally, he needs a place to go. Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham, those guys need a place to go. Will Fuller, Akeem Hicks, Melvin Ingram, Trey Flowers. I mean, you know, those are guys, you know, that need places to go. Julio Jones also, those guys need places to go. There are some undrafted free agents as well. You know, I think that could land themselves some places. Um, you know, some teams have already signed a bunch of free agents, you know, at least rookie free agents, um, but, you know, the big free agents that are left, uh, somebody needs to sign those guys ASAP, and though Odell's coming off an injury, he needs to heal, but I think, you know, if somebody can get him, oh boy, and then we know one NFL game at least um, to close this out here. We know that the Thursday night opener for Amazon is the Chiefs and the Chargers at Arrowhead. That's it um, for that. We'll see what the rest of the schedule is. The schedule just starts popping out, you know, like the Salt Bay meme. It starts popping out as time moves on. And I'll be back with the NFL, you know, coverage, you know, with that schedule drop on 
May 12th. So I'll see you all on May the 12th. At least NFL fans, I'll see you on May the 12th. But for everybody else, come on back here later on this evening. We'll be back with a doubleheader later on tonight as the indoor arena game gets wrapped up for this week along with the USFL getting wrapped up for the week. So I'll see you all then. Make sure you all come here and subscribe, you know, click the notification bell, comment, you know, yada, yada, yada. You know what to do. I'll see you all later. Take care.